International student numbers in South Korea have been growing steadily over the years fueled by growing interest in Korean culture and potential job opportunities. However, the share of the most sought-after STEM majors remains relatively low, prompting calls for changing the way the country strives to attract young talent. Reflecting such shortages, the government is stepping up efforts to attract STEM-focused international students aiming to secure the necessary talent for advanced industries such as artificial intelligence and other cutting-edge industrial and research sectors. According to the Education Ministry, the government plans to raise the share of STEM students in its global scholarship program for master's and doctoral candidates to 45% by 2027. Of the 7,000 students who are currently studying in Korean colleges and receive some sort of government support, Roughly 5,000 are in the graduate level with around 41% in natural sciences including STEM fields. Beyond the scholarship program, the government is rolling out a range of policies to boost STEM enrollment. In November, the Justice Ministry announced visa measures easing internship requirements for STEM graduate students. This move comes as local companies have persistently called for easing of the rules that have hindered the hiring of young individuals with the skill sets required by the industry. In addition, Seoul has adopted the K-Star visa track which permits foreign STEM graduates with master's and doctoral degrees to more easily acquire residency status. This program also makes it easier to get permanent residency or even special naturalization based on research results and our university president's recommendation. Previously limited to five science-focused institutions such as KAIST, the program has recently expanded to general universities that join graduate innovation projects which have met global education standards. Meanwhile, even though the number of international STEM students has gradually risen, it still accounts for a relatively small share of the foreign student body in Korea. Data released by the National Data Center on December 18 shows that as of May, social science majors made up a sizable portion of the total among 236,000 international residents with student visas while science and engineering accounted for just 19%. Against this backdrop, Korean universities are intensifying efforts to attract international students who can work in the country after graduation. This has become critical as the ability to find work after graduation will attract more students to apply for entry into certain schools. In particular, appealing to overseas students has become a necessity for many as the sharp drop in young Korean people will make it increasingly hard for many schools to find students going forward. By 2039, annual births are expected to drop below 300,000 which means many universities may experience a severe shortfall in students.